Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we calculated asymmetric cross section centroid and also moment of inertia about two horizontal and vertical axes in the centroid. As we went through, we noticed that moment of inertia about x prime, y prime, or polar moment of inertia was not zero. As a result, the principal axis is different from the horizontal and vertical axis, which usually is given for the cross section. In this video, we are going to use more circle method to calculate the principal axis and the angle of these two principal axes, which are uh, indicating the maximum and minimum of moment of inertia. Here is the cross section. In the previous video, we calculated moment of inertia x prime 5.2, 10 power by 7 millimeter 4, i y prime 11, 10 power by 7 millimeter 4, and i x prime y prime 3.9, 10 power by 7 millimeter 4. Now, uh, in the method of more circle, you need to have two axes first, one in the horizontal direction and the other one in the vertical direction. The horizontal axis refers to i x prime and i y prime, and the vertical axis represent i x prime y prime. In our example, i x prime is 5.2 10 power by 7. I, I factor 10 power by 7 and I will go with 5.2, 11 and 3.9 for easier approach. So i x prime divided by 10 power by 7 will be 5.2, i y prime divided by 10 power by 7 will be 11 and i x prime y prime divided by 10 power by 7 will be 3.9. For i x prime and y prime it's easy because both are in the horizontal axis we can write down this is 5.2 and the other one is 11. For ix prime, y prime, it can be positive or negative. And always we need to look at the sign of that for the horizontal axis. In our example, x prime is horizontal axis. As a result, the sign will be applied to ix prime, y prime. It means that if ix prime, y prime is positive, we will go up from i x prime and if it, if it is negative we will go down always is in the opposite direction for the other axis so here our case is positive 3.9 as a result from here we come up to 3.9 and for the other case we go down always we look at the horizontal axis and apply the sign of i x prime y prime in the relevant moment of inertia about x prime or y prime uh, whatever the horizontal axis here is in this case it is x prime so if x uh, i x prime y prime was negative on i x prime we go in the other direction and when you find it this one the other one is easy because you can go down for the other case the same value 3.9 now we need to sketch one line between these two and find out the centroid of this line as far as it is in the middle of 11 and 5.2 so this i average will be 11 plus 5.2 divided by 2 which is 8.1 now we have the average we can determine what's the length of the triangle that we have so it means that this length will be 11 minus 8.1 which is 2.9 and the other one is 3.9 it's not scaled but uh, that's enough for us to find out the radius of the circle. So radius of the circle can be calculated easily. The square root of 2.9 power by 2 plus 3.9 power by 2. And this value will be 4.86. Now we can have our circle. I think it's acceptable. Now let's find out the maximum or the furthest point that this circle crosses the horizontal axis and also the minimum value in the left side so here we can see that this point represents i max and the other point represents i min so from the average point which is the circle the center of this circle we can go uh, with the distance of r to the right to approach i max and we can go to the left to approach i min 
which is very straightforward and easy to follow. So here I max, still they are divided by 10 power by 7. We will apply that later. It will be I average plus R, which will be 8.1 plus 4.86, 12.96. And I mean will be I average minus R, which is 8.1 minus 4.86 and this is 3.24 the important point is to find out the rotational angle always the angle in the more circle is twice of rotating the angle in the plane of cross section so i don't go through the detail of that uh, if you are familiar with the more circle for calculation of stresses and principal stresses you might be familiar with the scope of these two theta and theta. So now this angle is two theta and we can calculate tangent two theta is 3.9 divided by 2.9. If you look at the other uh, equations given in many books, this is always I X prime Y prime. And this is I X prime plus I Y prime divided by two. So from here we can calculate two theta. I calculated and it is 53.36 degree. From here theta will be 53.36 divided by two, which is 26.7. Meaning that if we rotate X prime and Y prime with the angle of 26.7, then we will approach to the maximum and minimum or principal axis of this cross section. The only thing is how to rotate it. So the current situation is always what we have. Here is current situation for I X prime and I Y prime that we already have. And this is the condition that we are trying to approach. I max and I mean. So it means that from the current situation, we have to rotate X prime and Y prime counterclockwise. Now it is simple. We come back to our cross section and we rotate it for the angle of 26.7, not 53.36 in the counterclockwise direction. And then we will get to the principal axis. So to be a little bit more um, exact, because we are going to calculate something else in the next video, this length is 150 and this length is 60 millimeter it means that the angle of this uh, line to the centroid will be 1 minus 1 60 divided by 150 and this is 21.8 degree meaning that if we are rotating our uh, coordinate x prime y prime 26.7 then this corner point will be lower than the first quarter of the cross section. So that is a very good uh, approach to a sketch appropriately to understand it easier when we, it comes to, for example, esters analysis. Now we can sketch our new coordinate axis. Now the next step is uh, to find out which axis it's what, which one is going to represent the uh, a strong axis and which one is going to be the weak axis here we can see that when we rotate this current situation to horizontal direction this was i y prime and it's going to approach i max and this was i x prime which is going to approach i mean so when you are sketching we need to uh, pay attention to this rotation so I very prime will go through I max. I name it capital Y and the other one will be capital X, which is I mean. So, and the angle of the rotation is 26.7 degree. I X will be I minimum and I Y will be I maximum. That's the end. In this video, we went through the calculation of uh, principal axis of a cross section, which is asymmetric based on more circle method. In the next video, I will apply a bending moment in horizontal direction in the cross section, and we will calculate the stress in different locations of this cross section. Thank you for watching. See you in next video. Bye.